Tis the season for pumpkin. And bangers. Say what? That and more on Buckeye Interview. I'm Alice Bacani. And I'm Alexandra Chapin in for Asia Gore. You're watching Buckeye Interview, your source for campus and Columbus entertainment news. And so I don't know if you've realized it yet, but we're already halfway through October. I know, pretty soon we'll be raking leaves and we'll have to wear our winter coats. But don't forget about the good parts too. You know, like carving pumpkins, making some awesome pumpkin food. Pumpkin pie is my favorite. Well, somebody likes pumpkin, and Asia Gore has more on the grounds of the annual Circleville Pumpkin Festival. 96 pounds of pumpkin, there's uh, 44 pounds of sugar, and then you've got 15 dozen eggs. That's how you make a 14 foot across pumpkin pie. And why would anyone start on such a large order? It's the Pumpkin Festival. When you're from Circleville, you, you do it. You celebrate pumpkins to be specific. The Circleville Pumpkin Festival has deep roots in the city with a history that many residents can recite easy as pie. It certainly has gotten bigger, nearly a thousand pounds bigger. The heaviest pumpkin contest winner of 1990 was 473 pounds. Today they're clocking in at over 1,200 pounds. The winner takes home a cash prize, but it's not only a rich experience for competitors. hundred and seven years of celebration have harvested new additions to the festival, including art. And typical carnival rides and games. For Buckeye TV, I'm Asia Gore. Miley Cyrus's new album has just been released, and as expected, it's causing a lot of controversy. The new album, titled Bangers, pairs Miley with artists like Britney Spears and Nelly. And though a lot of people are criticizing her for her wild ways, she may be the one laughing it up. That's right, she's taking over the music charts here and in Britain. Let's check in with students to see what they think. I love Miley. I think that she is expressing her emotions and I think it's a lot about Liam and like her heartbreak with Liam. She kind of made a left turn instead of going straight on the path. But me personally, I, I love it. I love it. I love I love her new appearance. I love her twerking, shaking her ass everywhere. I love it. She's trying to break away from the stereotypical Hannah Montana look. I um, mean, all the young teenagers that were following her as Hannah Montana are now in that kind of rebellious stage as well. So she had to do something dramatic to catch attention, to be taken seriously as an artist. A new sweet shop is rolling out on campus, and you do not have to go far to find it. Alice Bacani has this story. A new off-campus spot offers unique options for your sweet tooth. The owners of the big bar and grill opened the little donut shop right downstairs. Cindy and John Massimiani were inspired to open the donut shop by their two daughters. We came up with this concept because we have two little girls ages five and six and it became a tradition that every Saturday my husband would go out to Tim Hortons and bring home donuts and it became donut day so it was kind of a big deal in our house. So when we were thinking of an idea for this space, one of our, my daughters said, how about doing a donut shop? Because they love donuts so much. And, you know, we kind of thought about the idea for a little and then did some research for a long time. And um, that's kind of how it came to be. And after a big night out, students don't have to go far for a little snack. The sweet shop plans to stay open even after the clubs close. In the future, we're going to be open Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, all night. So when the bars let out and Big Bar and Grill lets out, people can come down and order donuts. Cindy said their petite donut sizes and unique flavors like maple bacon and chocolate pretzel will set them apart from competitors like Buckeye Donuts. We wanted to make our donuts a little bit different, so that's how they became little and the different flavors. So we can offer something a little bit different than the standard donut from up there. Reporting for Buckeye TV, I'm Alice Bacani. As we head into the Halloween season, we're sure to see a bunch of new slasher films coming out. I'm not really into all the blood and guts. <laughs> well, lucky for you, Adam Scope isn't getting into that quite yet. Hey, and welcome to VCR, Buckeye Interview's very own movie segment. I'm your host, Adam Scove, and let's kick it to Rewind.
For this week, I'm going to rewind two movies, Prisoners and Rush. Prisoners is a dark, suspenseful tale that involves kidnapping, starring Hugh Jackman, Terrence Howard, Jake Gyllenhaal. This movie is very suspenseful, keeps you in the blind for most of the movie. It's, uh, the cinematography is done by Roger Deakins, who works with the Coen Brothers a lot and just got off doing Skyfall, so you know there's going to be some great visuals. Rush is a fast-paced racing movie. Um, it's about the rivalry between two Formula One racers who are played by Chris Hemsworth and Daniel Bruhl. The movie's directed by Ron Howard, and I think the standout part of the movie was uh, Daniel Bruhl's acting. He previously played Frederick Zoller in Inglourious Bastards, and I expect great things for him to come. Um, both movies were really good. I'd say three out of four stars for both. Go see both whenever you can. Houston, you copy. Houston, this is Mission Specialist Ryan Stone. I am off structure and I'm drifting. Do you copy? All right, what you just saw was a clip from the movie Gravity. This is probably the biggest movie of 2013 right now. It has a 98% on Rotten Tomatoes, and the critics love it, and so do just your average moviegoers. Um, some standout things about this movie are the incredible special effects. You feel like you're in space, and in, this movie has gone places where no other movie has gone before with these 10 to 15 minute shots. Uh, there's barely any cuts in this movie, but it feels very natural, like you're actually in space. Um, it's a super focused story. There's only two characters but there's only two actors that you see in the whole entire movie. There's some extra voices, but there's only two characters in the whole movie. It's them in space, and it's just really brilliant and really creative what they did with uh, the environment they were in. Um, the visuals are great, but they're not indulgent. The CGI is also excellent, and it's not cheesy. As a simple story, and the story also has depth. Um, it stars George Clooney and Sandra Bullock. It was directed by Alfonso Cuaron, and it was shot by Emmanuel Lubez. Uh, Lubezki, who also shot The Tree of Life, which is one of my favorite movies. Gravity is shaping up to be probably my favorite movie of 2013 and of recent years. I expect it to do really good at the Oscars, and if you see one movie for this year, go see Gravity. It's unlike anything you've ever seen. So for fast forward this week, instead of talking about a specific movie, I just wanted to let everybody know about Hitchcocktober over at the Gateway Film Center uh, right off campus. It's where they play starting, I guess, last weekend until the end of October. They're playing all Alfred Hitchcock movies uh, on the weekends. I think around midnight or 1 o'clock, um, some movies are playing at a rear window, The Birds, Strangers on a Train, Vertigo, Psycho, all of his great movies. Um, he's probably my favorite director and one of the most influential filmmakers of all time, so definitely check out Hitchcocktober at The Gateway. All right, that was this week's edition of VCR. Now back to you guys. Now let's take a look at some upcoming events. Join in on the homecoming parade and festivities Friday, October 18th. And also on the 18th, Acripella presents This Is Halloween at Knowlton Hall. If you're looking to get active without running from zombies, join in on the Haunted Hustle Bike and Row at the RPAC October 20th. And check out Amelie Sande performing at the Newport on October 21st. Thanks for watching Buckeye Interview, your source for campus and entertainment news. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for all your entertainment updates. Thanks for watching.